Hi, this is Abul Hussain and today I want to speak to you about what I believe to be the one crucial piece of the puzzle when you are looking to enlarge your team and grow your agency's capacity, that is by hiring more people. So that crucial piece of the puzzle is having a standard operating procedure or multiple standard operating procedures. What are they? Essentially, it's a guide that tells your employees how we do things in our agency. So it could be uh, a guide on how we onboard clients, how we report back to clients, how we set up campaigns, how we optimize campaigns. So it's a bit of a business bible for your own organization. What that helps you with essentially and what it helps your employees with is one, it's to it helps onboard the employee and train them up to your standards. Two, you're not leaving them up to their own devices to come up with ways and ideas of optimizing campaigns and what they need to do to set up a, a client. It's essentially laid out for them. So it makes their jobs a lot easier. It makes it easier for you to track their progress and how quickly they are onboarding and surfacing your, your clients. And three, it's because otherwise, if you don't have these documents, people will keep on coming to you asking you for advice in terms of how they should handle a client inquiry, how they should set up a campaign and whatnot. So often it takes a bit of time to establish your um, standard operating procedures. Uh, so how would you do that when you're starting afresh and you're building an SMMA agency from, from the ground up? And this is something that I've found to be quite valuable. One, you can have a mentor who has done this before and they can help you set your standard operating procedures up. But if you don't want to go down the mentoring route, if you don't need a coach and you have money to invest, I would actually go out and hire a project manager who has worked in a digital marketing agency framework. Because often these project managers, project management is uh, all about project plans and timelines and spreadsheets. Often a lot of these project managers will have documents that you can take and apply to your business. Now, depending on how good the project manager is, they would still they would still cost you money. You know, they would cost more than hiring a coach to help you with all of this. But again, if you have uh, the right seed capital to to kind of go out there and uh, get on with it, if you like. Um, you will need to buy that expertise from someone who has done that already in, in another agency environment. And make sure that when you are hiring a project manager that they are coming from a much larger agency and they're not uh, coming from an agency background where they were working in, in a small business. Uh, you want to um, hire people from uh, who have uh, worked for the likes of WPP, or I believe it's called the Rimmel Kaufman Group in the in the USA. In the UK, you've got so many agencies, Mediacom, um, and I'm not going to go into a whole list of other ones because you, you you can see from a person's CV where they've worked before, and they can help you set up your standard operating procedures, or you can reach out to me. We can have a chat about it. It's something that you can do yourself, especially if you are someone who has been in the trenches and set up campaigns yourself. I hope you found some value in this video. As always, I welcome your comments, I welcome your ideas, I welcome your experiences. If you like the video, like it, and I will see you on another video. Hey, 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 this is Abul. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and do share the content with your networks. Now, if you're looking to grow your agency to six figures and beyond, I would like to invite you to our community of SMMA and digital marketing agency owners. The link is below this video and I shall see you in there.